Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be using this sublimation paper to sublimate a tie-dye shirt that I already have. It's already washed, ready to go. I've used it more than one time, so I just want to try it out. And I want y'all to come along with me. I started off first by pulling up an image that I had. I had this image for a long time. And again, as you notice, these sheets are eight and a half by um, 14 inches. And I pulled the image up in Canva. I created it in Cricut Design Space, if I'm not mistaken. I had the drip under the word Virgo. So I did that one. And I also pulled up these images. The backgrounds are gone. And these are some pretty little black angels. I'm playing around with if I want it upside, you know. The, I ended up just putting them on top of one another. That way I can print them out on one sheet of paper. And I really didn't need the image to be super big. I just wanted to print this out today. So as you can see, this is how the images are coming out. I'm going to put them into my um, HP software. And I'm going to make sure I mirror the image and I made sure I mirrored the Virgo because I needed it to turn around the opposite way when it's time for me to print it out. So as you can see, I have my beautiful butterfly, not butterfly, angels. <laughs> Where I get butterflies from? I don't know. This is my HP, I believe it's a 4700, and I converted it uh, maybe like two years ago. I think I have a video somewhere showing where I did that process. But anyway, as long as my ink is filled, I, I really don't have an issue with any of my pictures. And they pretty much sublimate very, very well. So again, I wanted to use this paper, and as you can see, I think it came out nicely. Now, the true test is once you heat it, you know, is it going to survive? So I just grabbed some scissors, and I decided to cut this one in half because, again, I'm going to use the two different designs for two different projects. Now, this is my tie-dye shirt that I already had. It's um, pretty worn. So, you know, if I messed it up, I wouldn't really miss it. So, yeah. Um, and I think I made this shirt probably like at least two years ago. So, what I'm going to do is take the image and I'm going to lay it down to get an idea of where I want it to go. But I actually heated up my heat press. This one, I think it go, only goes up to like 360 or something. Because it's like one of the older ones. But it still works. So I went ahead and heated the spot. Added some heat to it. Before I decided to sublimate the picture. Then I'm going to lie it back down. Now you can use your heating, your tape. Your heat resistant tape. But I really didn't want to use tape because... I really don't like fighting with the tape and this is a kind of you know pretty straightforward thing for me as long as I press it straight down I don't see it shifting so now I let it sit for about a minute remember mine doesn't press as hard as a uh, one of the larger machines and also it doesn't heat up as hot so regardless I just give it a little bit more time and I just take my time with it and this is basically how it came out which I think it came out pretty now of course it would probably pop more if there was something else on it yo I got cut off at the end with this shirt and this is the image you can see my little hole because I had it for a while but I think it came out nice I would definitely um get some HTV clear to put under it for it to really pop but it being by itself I think it came out really nicely so I'm really really impressed and I like it I like this paper <laughs> 